can't hear you. Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stepping up to fight this administration's racism, sexism, bigotry, and attacks on our constitution, our democracy, our freedoms. This is not just a political fight for me, it's a personal fight. It's about my sons growing up brown. It's about your daughters fighting for equality. It's about each and every one of us. Make no mistake though, it will be a long fight. We'll be here next year. For this is not only a fight for the rights of the people of people of color, the rights of LGBT people, the rights of immigrants and refugees, the rights of women, the rights of Native Americans, the rights of people with disabilities. This is a fight about who we are, our values. This is a fight about the identity of America. This administration has let extremism shape its agenda and its policies, and it's, it's endangering not only people of different races, background, religion, sexual and gender identity, but also our constitution, the constitution on which our democracy depends. Racism, sexism, bigotry, have a friend in the White House and he spews out hate each and every day in so many characters, exclamation point, and all caps included. This is not accidental. This administration is working hard to divide us. And it is a well-known strategy, this divisiveness. It is a strategy honed by people in power to divide people without power. And it is up to us not to let it succeed. Let us not forget how the Nazis came to power lawfully and peacefully by scapegoating Jews and other minorities and using hate and xenophobia to drive its hateful policies and actions. Democracy does not die in fire and fury, my friends. It is eaten away daily on many quiet fronts until it collapses. This administration is working hard to divide us because they know it weakens our defenses against their assaults on the very rights and liberties upon which this nation was founded. What is under attack is this unique American experience. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, Freedom of the press, are you with me? The rights to privacy, the rights to vote, the right to vote, are you with me? The right to vote. These rights gained over so many years of bloody struggle sometimes, the civil rights, LGBT rights, women's rights. These rights and liberties are under assault today under the guise of security and a base appeal to fear. The Muslim travel ban is not about the security of our borders. It's an attempt at dividing us through bigotry and fear going after undocumented immigrants, going and giving full power to ICE to deport fathers and mothers and break families is not about the security of our country. 
It's about dividing us by fueling anti-immigrant hysteria to mask growing ineco economic inequality. <laughs> Dismantling DACA is not about securing our communities. It's about dividing us through spite and xenophobia. Reversing the Obama era policies created to address the injustices in our justice system and the way they perpetuate racism and poverty is not about securing, making our communities more secure. It's about making sure minorities, marginalized communities, and the poor stay where, right where they are at the bottom rung of the economic ladder. So what can we do? What can you do? Since the morning of, of November 9th, 2016, a lot of us right here in Colombia have been hard at work to defend our rights and freedoms. And many groups had been working hard long before that to address racial and social issues. I'd like to think this collective movement is giving us hope for a new dawn. For we have risen and we will not be silenced. Are you with me? We have risen and we are not going away. We fight on with you. We need you to step up the fight to defend these rights and freedoms. We need you to speak up when you witness racism and sexism every day, every time. We need you to pressure our local government to do the right thing in protecting all of its citizens. We need you to get informed and stay informed and to support the mainstream media because like it or not, and no matter what their limitations, they are one of the very pillars of our democracy and they're under deadly assault. We need you to do the work and get to know the issues locally and nationally and work with your local organizations, many of which are present today and your local representative to address those issues. We need you to do the work. Right here in Colombia, right now, because this is where it all starts. Because all, if all you do is show up today and march, and then you go home and you go on with your life, this, all this, is all for nothing. To change things, it takes work. It takes courage. And sometimes, it even takes stepping out of your comfort zone, whether that be socially, economically, or spiritually. It takes work to fight but we don't have a choice. This is a fight for who we are. At the City of Columbia Diversity Breakfast last week, we had the honor of hearing acclaimed activist and writer Kevin Powell speak. Mr. Powell spoke truth to power with the fire that we all need to have and keep. Are you with me? He challenged us all to get educated, to know the issues, and to do the work. Because without education, without knowing our history, without knowing who we are, without knowing who you are, we can't conquer fear. And we can't fight the hate and divisiveness that this administration is poisoning us with every day.
Without education, we can't work to make this community more inclusive and just. Without education, we can't fight for our common humanity. And we need you to fight for our common humanity. We need you to fight for the rights of your neighbors and friends of color. Are you with me? We need you to fight for the rights of your LGBT neighbors and friends. Are you with me? We need you to fight for the rights of your immigrant and refugees neighbors and friends. We need you to fight for the rights of your neighbors and friends with disabilities. We need you to fight for the rights of your neighbors and friends who happen to worship another God than you do, or none at all. We need you to fight for our common humanity. Because understanding and celebrating our differences is our shield against hate. And it is the best way we can defend our democracy against this administration's blanket extremism and destruction and insanity. For this is a fight about the identity of America and together doing the work we can win. Because we're a nation of many roots and many blooms. We are all immigrants. Even though the ancestors of some of us did not come here willingly, but were dragged in chains. And we slaughtered the ancestors of those of us whose land it was long before we came onto it. We are a nation of many roots and many blooms. We are a nation of immigrants. We are also a nation built on slavery and genocide, but with the unique potential to do better, to be better, and to embrace those ideals of equality and justice. Because our diversity is our strength. This is how America is great. When we are united in our differences, in justice and in love. We are all dreamers. We are one and together we can. Si podemos, thank you.